All right, Gianna, here's one of our last days of training. A little dual slalom up on Charlie's. Um, pretty nice turn there. Got direction done. Feet out away from the gate. Uh, nice level shoulders. Not sure what happened here. Look at it. He set up pretty well. Um, maybe a little too much weight on the inside ski. It hooked up on you there. You can see the feet widen right there. Would suggest maybe uh, inside ski, you know, had weight on it, so it hooked up, was carving. Um, but whatever, no big deal. Just remember, um, you know, always want most of our weight on the outside ski, particularly in, in, uh, in pitches like, uh, like where you were. Coming in here, flush. Started with the right hand, correct hand, which would be your right hand, but uh, came through. And one of the more important things on flushes or any combination is a strong exit. And you had your hand in position. Um, this particular one, it should have been the right hand, which you used. We should have kept that up right here, high, and, and cleared those two poles for a, uh, a strong exit and a tight exit. Um, you know, you backed off from touching those, which meant you're a little wide and finishing the turn down there, and we'd rather see you up, up on those two poles. So make sure we got a strong exit. Really the most important thing I think of this whole video, um, is don't push down the pole. Watch your, you know, here you are clearing left hand. Um, and you push the pole down. You know, I know you're a, uh, not a, not a big girl, but, um, strong girl. I think you yanked out like 13 of these, uh, brush gates after we, uh, finished. Um, so you're a strong girl. No reason to push the pole down. They will, they will fall down. What happens is when you push the pole down, the hand drops. You're in no position then to pole plant. You have to then raise uh, raise the hand up to pole plant, which causes you to be late in the pole plant. It's right there. It's sort of almost, you know, by your boot or behind your boot almost. And, um, you know, causes you to have late timing, uh, late turn. And here we are going into that. You're reaching, leaning in, uh, no direction done. So remember not to push the pole down. It will come down. Ski through it. Um, you know, secondly here with, you know, flushes we just talked about, we want to make sure we begin the flush clearing with whatever would be the typical or, or the correct cross-blocking arm. So here, coming into this, should have been your left hand, not your right hand. The inside arm clear there. And I think in here you realize, okay, um, I'm going to change hands. So you're moving your hands around. Remember, flutches should be one arm clearing throughout. Um, whatever that normal hand would be to cross block the top. So here you, you changed hands in the middle. Not easy to do. Kind of got your little... Uh, too much going on, not a strong exit. As you can see, kind of leaning in and, you know, so let's make sure we're clearing one arm throughout. But let's take a look at you there. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. We got a little bit of ankle flexion. We're in the front of the boot. Um, level shoulders and the hand you don't push the pole down there but that's good but here the hand the arm collapses down come in no don't let that don't let the pole uh, push you around Jenna Right arm seems to be uh, maybe the stronger one. 
So, you know, bottom line, a couple things, uh, particularly, uh, um, you know, flushes, make sure we're clearing with one arm throughout the, the one that you would typically cross block the top pole. And secondly, uh, let's make sure you are not pushing the poles down. You want, you want to push, push the poles around, don't let them push you. And this video was brought to you by Head.